Well, good morning. Since we're going to be going to the RV thing in Lakeland, Florida, we thought we'd take off from uh, the campground we're at, Silver Dollar Golf Resort, and see how to get there. Turn right on Silver Dollar Drive. Yes, dear. So we're going to take leave here and, and go to Lakeland. It's supposed to be about 39 or 40 miles, so it'll probably take about six hours in Florida. <laughs> so, we want to go to the store, and it says, oh, it's only three miles. Well, 35 minutes later, you finally get there. But anyway, we're going to take off and go see that. What that is going to happen there is the RV Any thing. quarter of a mile. Turn right on Patterson Road. I should note it better than the talk when I got her program. But anyway, we're going to go to the RV thing, put on the motorhome experiment, and uh, see where it is so we know where to go when we got to go there. So come along for the ride. Now, down, down the, the road, road we go. Thousand feet. Turn right. think I should turn right Google here up about a thousand feet and maybe go down the road to the right. Since the only way I go is right or left, I got a 50-50 chance. Anyway. Okay, we're on our way. You know, the map, it doesn't look that far, but it took us about 45 minutes to get over to uh, Sun and Fun and check it out. After driving around the Sun and Fun campus, we discovered that the gate was closed to the campground and the RV thing wasn't for a couple more weeks, but at least we know where it is and how to get here. January 3rd, 2020, or at least that's what it was when I looked on a calendar this morning, and we're going to take off and go see a local attraction, the Tarpon Springs Aquarium. It's supposed to be small, but pretty cool, so we're going to go check it out and uh, show you all about it. As down, down the road, road we go. go. It's kind of, it's warm today. It's, it's I think humid. It's about, yeah, really humid. Overcast and windy. But it's about 75, and it's supposed to be up about 80 by this afternoon. So, nice day, except no sun, but that's okay. And here we go. We're going to get out of the uh, silver dollar here and 
at all. So now we'll turn Miss GPS on so when she talks, she's not talking over me. Okay, we've arrived in Tarpon Springs, so now we're going to check out the aquarium. Also, there's a little town here that we're going to walk around. Of course, you know, Shirley Shaw saw the t-shirt shops and all that good stuff, but looks like a pretty cool area. So come along, we'll check it out. Horseshoe plan, or horseshoe uh, crab, yeah. The Tarpon Springs Aquarium, it's family owned and in not real good shape, but they are in the process of moving to a new location to be closer to the highway and it's going to be bigger. But it was really nice and the workers were really knowledgeable and really nice. So it's a great place to visit, not too expensive and after you pay the price you can come back all day. So with the sharks today, you're gonna take a piece of food, you're gonna just stab it like this. Hold on. Whoa. Yeah, and stick it down, and they should come right up and do it. Like, they really don't poke by eyesight, they don't do that, they kinda go by the smell. Come on, dude, I know you know it's over here. Come on, Murphy. Whoa. Yeah, so if it's all the cups, you guys do want to do this, and if you guys just want to pet the stingray and just kind of look at them, it's kind of cute. The lighter. Mm -hmm. There's two in there. There's two in there. There's yellow, and then there's one of them is the green, gold yellow, and half fluffy. I thought it was all one too. I mean, one snake. No, there's two heads in there somewhere. I, I see the one head, that's, all, that's why I say. Uh, okay, oh, there's nose to nose. Yeah. Are they nose to nose? Uh -huh. <laughs> so all these snakes that we have in the and then this <laughs> enclosure have been people's pets, has been donated to us. Oh, okay. And eventually, when they're people's pets, you know, because they're Bernese pythons, you know, we have an invasive species yeah. that have um, Everglades, and people just throw them in the backyard and don't really care about, you know, the, yeah. the species and the causing, you know, everything. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> a, a creepy out enough? <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh? It was heavy? What did it feel like? Just real soft. Yeah. Oh, okay. The skin is really cool. It's kind of funny. So this is the little town of Tarpon Springs, a uh, fishing community, of course a lot of souvenirs and little shops and restaurants and pretty cool little area. That uh, the aquarium is uh, it's pretty slick, it's like $7 for seniors and, and that's all day, you can come and go all day, they have different shows off and on. We stayed around for a snake show. And uh, later on, they're going to have um, an alligator show if we get back to it in time. But, you know, it's small and it's really old. And they are in the process of moving to a newer place that will be closer to the highway. But uh, it, was, it was really small, but it was really interesting. It, really, it was worth the money. So if you ever get down to Tarpon Springs, Florida, stop on over here. So now, of course, you know what I've got to look forward to now. The rest of the day down here would be a shopping experience.
starts out as a black oily slimy chicken like porous skin on a rock leaf or shell. It starts to grow one to two inch per one to two year by water flowing through that skin. The Gulf of Mexico is most plentiful with the best plankton in the world. Plankton contains a natural iodine which other microorganisms get in the water and eat and create this. So consider this skin the beehive, water the honey, microorganism the bees, eating the plankton, their pollen, creating this, their honeycomb. These grow one to two inch per one to two year. The skin is the animal. No eyes, ears, nose, liver, or lungs. Dyer goes down and cuts this. Thousands of those organisms swim, land on another rock leaf or shell, recreate another colony of sponge. Even after these are cleaned and processed, they still retain 14% of that natural iodine that they are comprised of. Thus, when you're washing your face, body, dish, anything, all natural sea sponge are taking acne, oils, poisons, and bacteria off our face, body, dish, powders, everything. Food particles, pasta sauce, lipstick, red wine, all rinse out of the sponge. They do not retain <coughs> any mold or bacteria. Totally healthy. We have different types of sponge because the water contains different types of organisms and plankton to create it, just like Border Collie, Dachshund, German Shepherd. Yes, you can measure those. Okay. They're supposed to be done here without touching. Uh -huh. But I know they're 20. Um, I wouldn't touch 27. This appears to be the back street where all the restaurants and bars are here in Tarpon Springs. This is like one block off the main drag. And quite a few restaurants and brewing companies. Well, there's another little alcove with shops and there's food back in here. A Morocco Bazaar. Old boat. Pretty cool. It's a nice area down here. Got a beautiful day, it's about 80 degrees. The humidity's not real high, so it's comfortable. It's good to get out of the motorhome, I'll tell you that. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of our adventures while on the road, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when a new video comes out.